residing and nasheed in Rabi al awal in gathering in India, Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ask me a simple question. I'll try to make it simple. Uh, many countries, like uh, I'm not going to name any country. Uh, many countries, the way they celebrate the uh, the milad, and uh, now when shaitan is not able to uh, put you directly into bid'ah so shaitan is finding other way to do the same thing but going around the circles but making you do the same thing doing a bid'ah either by nasheed by naat or by setting up a mafil or setting up the gathering or any type of even you cooking something on a milad or the entire rabi al awal doing anything in this month on the or either even on the 12th rabi al awal or the entire month by through setting up the circle setting up the gathering by reciting the nasheed like uh, allahumma salli ala this these are all bid'ah because we find that an evidence from an authentic hadith where the sahaba walked into the masjid and he saw on many uh, some people were in a gathering and they doing a zikr in a loud and so the sahaba uh, got very upset and he told them the prophet ﷺ is still alive between us so basically he stopped them from doing that because uh, setting up the gatherings in a mafil in all that I would challenge any scholar or anyone and I'm just only a little uh, student of knowledge which has been uh, researching on this one and I was unable to find any evidence from the Prophet Sallallahu entire seerah and I do not find the evidence from the, from the life of the Sahaba, any Sahaba and I do not find any evidence even from the great four scholars or any historical scholars. So this was the monopoly uh, later later on which was being adopted by uh, people who uh, started that because in my other lecture I have talked about that how was it being started and all that. So the question was being asked if the recitation of uh, Nasheed in uh, Rabi al Awal is permitted. It's, it's nothing permitted. These people claim they love the Prophet ﷺ. If you really love the Prophet ﷺ, then adopt his life into your life. That's called following his sunnah. And that is the way that would prove uh, practically you really love the Prophet ﷺ. But if you really want to love, uh, if you if you really love the Prophet ﷺ, you have to fast on Monday. You have to uh, stay away from bid'ah. You have to stay away uh, what other Maulanas or what everybody teach you. You have to stick to what is uh, Quran. You have to do the Avakar. You have to have a, a life of a Taqwa. That, that is the way to uh, show ourselves that we really love the Prophet ﷺ. Not rather we start dancing, setting up the nasheeds. Now these people have a justification answer. We do that because so we can uh, bring the uh, Muslims united. Now this is the logic of shaitan. This is not the logic of the Prophet ﷺ. Because, the, because I'm going to ask one simple question. Did the Prophet ﷺ in his entire life or even after his prophethood when he uh, received the first message from the age, age 40 and up till the age 63, did he find any evidence that he ever set up the uh, mafil or the gathering in the circles and you ask the people okay I'm going to be sitting here everybody starts saying a nasheed I want to have a competition who is saying a good nasheed it's nothing this is not a slam this is the logic of shaitan and shaitan is trying to make you uh, do something which is not being done by the prophet not done by the sahaba not done by any elite uh, scholars or tabain or tabba tabain or anyone we do not find any evidence so let's say now shaitan is not uh, making you do directly into something what is forbidden he is finding the way 
to make you do something which is being rejected by Allah, which is being rejected by the Prophet ﷺ. By setting up the nasheed, setting up the nath, spending uh, too much money and somebody who is saying nasheed, people are throwing the money on them. This is not in Islam. This is the logic of shaitan. Because this is what the Abbalists want the Muslims to do. He wants to remove you from the word is Quran and he wants to make you put into the something like a nasheed and the nath mafil in the gathering in the circles due to the tasawwuf and and something strange rituals and thinking that with an intention they are pleasing the Prophet or they are pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but this does not exist. If you ask any scholar to please uh, provide me one proof from the entire authentic hadith with the Prophet for 23 years he has ever set up any uh, mahfil or any not gathering and people are reciting in nasheeds. This is started from the Sufism and the entire history everything was being started uh, from the Shia group which was being called the Fatimids and that was started from the Egypt and I have talked about it into my other lecture if you just search on a YouTube or on a Google you will be able to find it by my name or the Bid'ah or the Rabbi Al-Awwal or, or celebrating a Milad.